Greetings, and welcome to another automation tutorial. In this episode, we'll be looking at ways to collect mystical flower petals from the Batania mod. These petals are the basis for many things in the mod, and are therefore often needed in higher quantities than can be easily found in the world. The first method I want to show you is quick, simple, and can be used to multiply the number of petals you have of any given color, but you have to have the color first. So, let's say we find one lime flower in the world, and we need more of them. Well, the easiest way to do this is to first turn it into petals, and then it, uh, you can grow large flowers by planting a petal, bone mealing it, and then shearing the tall flower that comes out, thus giving you now four more. So the quick and easy way to automate it is to just put three mechanical users down, all facing the same block. In one of them, we're going to put the petals in a moment. In the upper left slot, right click, we want to use item on block. In the left hand one, we also want use item on block, right click, top upper left only, we put the bone meal. In the third, it's just generic left click, upper left slot, we put the shears, put in the petals, and it automatically plants, grows, and shears the um, petals into tall flowers. So, we started with one flower, so two petals, and now we're already up to 20. We can plant these again, and we'll get, and we'll multiply by four again. Um, you also either need to stand here or use your favorite item collecting method, such as a vacuum hopper, to actually collect the flowers. Now, while this might only get you the single color, there is the um, floral uh, fertilizer from Batania, which is just four uh, powders, which are ground up petals and a bone meal and you can grow other colors. So you can quick, from one flower, you can quickly grow your way to however many you need. Now, later on, you might want an even better uh, way of automating it and automating any of the flowers. So let's throw these in here. Batania supplies a jade, the jaded amaranthus. This is a flower that will grow mystical flowers around it, if given mana. So if we just plant it and put a uh, mana pool nearby, it doesn't have to be directly adjacent, just nearby, it should start growing flowers. Let me grab a one. Actually, let's just replant this because I believe it looks for the mana pool when it's planted. So yes, now it's starting to grow the flowers. So, the way to harvest these is with a drum of the wild. Uh, this is a block item version of the horn of the wild and requires a mana pulse to work. So if you just place down a mana pulse spreader, Whenever it receives a redstone pulse, it will shoot a mana blast, hit the drum of the wild, and harvest all these flowers. So, before I set that part up, I'm going to put a floating hopper hawk there, just because I wanted to have it centralized. It doesn't have to be a floating one. Grab the chest. Place the chest next to the hopper hawks, though it has an inventory to go into. And then we need to dig under there. Can of course be done on the surface, it just looks better under the chest. And of course all the dirt is getting sucked up into the hopper hawk. Well, that's where the jaded amaranthus was. <laughs> that back down. And uh, like many other flowers in Batania, 
it will stop generating the mystical flowers if given a redstone signal. So, we need a couple different redstone signals to be applied. Um, we first need this going up to be a strong signal. Up, default. Make sure it's on. That way we can turn off that flower. Uh, two over. I also want a strong signal going up. That goes to the uh, mana spreader. Then I can bring this up, fill the hole a little bit, and put a lever. This is actually the way to turn the system off. Because I didn't want to start it running without a way to turn it off. Now, I just put a timer down. I've got it set for 10 every 10 seconds. And so now, every 10 seconds, this drum will hit. You can hear the sound effect. And all the plants will be harvested, get sucked up by the hopper hawk, and placed in here. As you can see, we picked up a couple plants from uh, that from grass and such that hadn't been cleared previously. And now we are very quickly gaining flowers. And the reason I have this way to turn it off is so that way you can use whatever uh, level measuring uh, technique you wish to detect the number of flowers you have and turn off the system. Now, uh, the reason I've done it this way with the lever going directly to the mana spreader and not disabling the timer is so that uh, the last thing that happens is an extra pulse gets sent to the drum to clear up any remaining flowers. So that way you're not left with a few if the uh, timer is interrupted mid-session or mid-cycle. So those are the ways to quickly and easily get the, and farm the mystical flowers from Batania. Uh, the first method just multiplies what you have, but when combined with the oral powder, can easily get you any of them. And the Jaded Amaranthus just gives you a quick and easy way to farm all of them simultaneously using very little mana. So if you get extra, don't worry too much about throwing them out. So until next time, do enjoy.